Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. afternoon at the Excello Pictures Corporation in Hollywood. Mama, who has come to see Papa, is in his office alone, waiting for Papa to show up. The telephone. Hello? Games they should play with me. Try another one. Hello? Oh, you are there now, huh? Who? No, Mr. Bloom ain't in his office now. No, this is Mrs. Bloom. Who's this? Mr. Elman. How are you, Miss Elman? I'm very glad to know you. Here, yeah, I'm fine. Ain't it nice better for having his guest? No. No, I don't know when Papa will be back. What? I said Papa. Papa is Mr. Bloom. Yeah, we call him Papa. He's just like one of the family. Yeah. All right, all right, Miss Elman. I'll tell him that you called up. Maybe it was something important, yeah. All right. All right, I'll tell him you called up. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, say hello to Mrs. Elman for me. What? You ain't married. How old are you? <laughs> you should be married, Mr. Elman, yeah. <laughs> all right. Goodbye. Thanks for calling. <laughs> a very nice man, but he talks broken up English. Papa should be here. He ain't attentioning to business when he's out at the office. I got to talk to him about it. Hello, Sarah, darling. <laughs> I thought you was Papa. No, it's me. I said it was you. Don't I know my own family? <laughs> Did you come to see Papa, darling? Oh, no. I, I I just dropped in to say hello, that's all. Mm, Papa ain't here. He'll be back soon, I guess. Was you with Sydney? No. No, I, I wasn't with Sydney. You wasn't with Sydney. Uh, ain't it lovely, Betty? Mm-hmm. I guess so. You didn't see Pop any place, did you? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Sarah, darling, what's the matter? Matter? Oh, there's nothing the matter, Ma. Look at me, darling. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's something the matter. Anytime my Sarah's going around mopping like you are, there's something the matter. And I want you to tell me what it is. No, really, it's nothing, Ma. Oh, I guess I'm just tired, that's all. Being tired don't make you have a face like nine days snow. Tell me. Oh, why should I bother you with my silly troubles? What else is a mama for? She shouldn't be bothered with her children's troubles. Just because you're married, it ain't no signpost you shouldn't let me help you if there's something wrong. Look at me, darling. Oh, Ma. Uh-huh. Tears? You've been crying? Oh. What's the matter? I guess I'm just silly, that's all, Ma. When a woman cries, she ain't crying for nothing. To herself, it's a lot. Now, darling, I want you should tell me. Well, it's... It's Sydney. Sydney? A fight? No. As a matter of fact, I didn't even speak to him. You can still have a fight even if you ain't speaking to him. Some of the best fights your pop and me had was when we ain't speaking to each other. I know, but you never had anything like this happen. Paul may have aggravated you sometimes, but he never was underhanded and sneaky. Sarah, talking like that you shouldn't be. Besides, if you ain't talked to Sydney, how could you know? Oh, I've got eyes. So have I, but I can't talk to people with them. I just want to be alone. Darling, you ain't a movie star. You should talk like that. Come over here to me. Come here and tell me. Well, I... I called Sydney up this morning and 
Told him I was coming here to meet him for lunch. That's good, that's good. <laughs> what did you have? We didn't. That is, we didn't have lunch together at all. Wasn't you hungry? Not that, but then he said he was going to be too busy. All right. So you get mad about that? A shame from you. Because your husband's busy and can't eat lunch with you, then you should go around looking like something the captain the canary dragged in. Do you think that Papa would have gotten any knee pants made in New York if I was always calling him to go to lunch? You still don't understand. So Mel. tell me about it. Tell me. I'm trying to. Well, he said he'd be busy and couldn't take me to lunch, and so I thought I'd just drop around this afternoon and see what time he'd be through so I could drive him home and and oh and. Well, you ain't he... a magazine. You should finish the story in the next installment plan. And and what? Well, I walked around for a while. I guess it was just around lunch and. And then I saw Sidney. And you said hello to him? I should say not. Oh, so you was mad at him before you even had an argument? No, but I saw him going out with Marcia Villiers. Did the Robin of his girl? Yes. And right away you jumped at a concussion. Well, what else was I going to think? I called him up to see if he could go to lunch with me, and then I see him going out to lunch with Marcia Villiers just after he said he was going to be busy. So you got jealous right away? Well, wouldn't you? I ain't you, and Papa ain't Sidney. Look, darling, remember the time you thought he went dancing with another girl in Philadelphia and it was all fixed up? Well, this is different. That was before we were married and... Well, I guess he had a right to go dancing with anyone he pleased. But not with anybody who didn't please you. Why did he tell me he was going to be busy, Ma, and then go out with... with that girl? Hmm. Sarah, darling, can you get as old as me? Then you'll remember that for everything that happens, there's a explanation. Where there is smoke, there's a pipe. But I don't see how we can explain this. Deliberately lying Sarah, to me. Sarah, Sarah, wait until you see Sidney. You bet. Just wait until I see him. And you shouldn't start right in bowling him out. You should give him a chance. Remember, every dog should have at least a day. So you will wait here. All right. The more I think about it, the madder I get. Before, I was just hurt. Now I'm mad. You know, the other night I was mad at Papa when I thought he was dancing too much with the woman who looked like Ida Goldfarb and was Ida Goldfarb's cousin. But I know now that it was for business. Well, I'll get it straightened out all right or know the reason why. Yeah, and when you know the reason why, then where will you be? Better off than I am now. Mm -hmm. Wait until you're married 20 years and more. And then you'll learn to leap before you look. Look before you leave. Before Mom. or after you'll learn to listen a whole lot. Oh, but... And then when you do have something to say, you'll be knowing what you are talking about. And never mind what... Well, Mama, how are you? I'm fine, Jake. How are you? Very good, Mama. Very good. <laughs> the picture's coming along. It ain't being made yet, but it's coming along. Uh, Sidney just told me it was cooking. Cooking? Yeah, he means it's coming along. Oh, it's just a different way of saying something. Well, what's the matter with you, Sarah? Are you mad at your papa? You shouldn't say hello to him. No, I'm not mad at you, Pa. She's mad at Sydney. Oh, please, Ma. She's mad at Sydney? <laughs> That's nothing. Ain't I been mad at Sydney ever since I've known him? Did it ever do me any good at all? Jake, you ain't married to Sydney. No, I ain't married to Sydney. Uh, Mama, mm -hmm. did the telephone ring while I was out? Yeah, a man named Mr. Elman called up. Elman? What did he want? I don't know. Well, did he say it was important? He didn't say. He just said he'd call up later. All right. Sarah, you're looking like a dead fish. What's the matter? Ah, don't tell me. You and Sidney had a fight. No, we didn't. Jake, don't be both again. But I'm her father. I got a right to know. Sarah is married to Sidney, so they should fight their own battle. Uh-huh, and what did Sidney do now? Nothing that you should get excited about. Well, believe me, it's something I should get excited about. All right, all right. I'm only your papa, so don't tell me. Sarah, you want to tell papa? I don't want to talk about it until I see Sidney. You tell me. No, 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 you tell me, Sarah. Because when Mama tells me something, I gotta wait two hours before she's getting around to the subject. Uh. And by that time, I forgot what she started out to say. Hmm. Don't be a smart, Isaac Jake. Sarah is mad at Sidney because she thinks that he's flirting. Sidney is flirting? Sidney? Yeah, Sidney. S I D. Uh, never mind, it was Sidney. Flirting? With who? With Marsha Rabinovitz. Velie, Mama, Velie. Rabinovitz to her mom and papa, and Rabinovitz to the rabbi. Oh, right. Rabinovitz or Velie, she's the same thing. And how do you know Sidney was flirting with her? Because Sarah saw him going out with her. Sidney was going out with Marsha Velie? Mm, that dope. He's not a dope. He'll do until our better dope is born. Sidney ain't a dope. And papa, you should keep out from this. Who said I wanted to get in? Well, he ain't got a right to do it. So he marries my daughter. And then he comes out to Hollywood and right away he starts to flight with the stars. I don't pay her $2,000 a week so she should make my daughter unhappy. Sarah is not unhappy. She's just mad. Well, can't she be both? Yeah, she is. Sarah, I will break Sidney's neck for you. Now, Paul, you, you don't know anything about it. Maybe it was perfectly all right. Maybe it was all right. 
Sarah, whose side are you on? First you're mad at Sydney, then you get mad at me because I try to stick up for you. Well, gee, give him a chance to explain, will you? I've been trying to tell you that for half an hour. Should I pay Marcia Valier $2,000 a week so she should do monkey business? I am going to sit down and not get mixed up in the fight. Where is Sidney, Paul? I don't know, but when I see him, I will give him a piece of my mind. You should keep what you got. Mama, please, don't fight with me. Say, how did I get in this anyway? Maybe it was just business. I mean, maybe Sidney had to talk something over with him. Sure, just like Papa danced with the lady the other night because she was the man's wife who buys the pictures. Oh, Mama, don't bring that up again. I didn't bring it up. I just started to talk about it. Hello, everybody. My, a family reunion. Uh, What's the matter? I... I trust you have an explanation, Mr. Shiftane. Explanation? Well, what's wrong? What do I have to explain? Oh, you don't know. Sydney! Uh, uh, all right. Hey, what is this? Why am I on the auction block? Who's selling me down the river? You were too busy to go to lunch with me, but not with Marshal Vallier. <laughs> oh, so that's it. Why, honey, I didn't even have lunch yet. I was talking over the part in the new picture with her. She's got to like the story or she'll go sky high. And she likes it. Oh, Sydney, I knew it. If you knew it, why did you fight about it? She didn't know until now. When a woman says she knew it all the time, maybe she did, but she ain't letting anybody else know it. You had lunch yet, honey? No, I haven't. Well, come on, let's grab a bite and I'll tell you all about it. You want to come along, Ma and Pa? No, thank you. I ate. So did I. Okay, see you later. Goodbye, Ma. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was he causing trouble? No, this is that. Uh, a lot of fuss about nothing. Just like the fuss she was raising the other night when I danced with Ida Goldfarb's cousin. It's all right, Papa. I know now it was business. And it was business with Sydney. <laughs> yeah. And that's happened, Mama. Hmm? Even they fight. Sure, sure, sure. Sarah was jealous. Maybe I was too. For what? For nothing. No. So now it's all settled. And we won't be talking about it all anymore. Right, Mama. Say, Pa, huh? I almost forgot why I came in here before. Then just keep on forgetting about it. Go on, go with Sarah. No, I want to know this. All right, what is it now, Sidney? He can't tell you until he tells you, Papa, and you ain't letting him. All right, so I'm letting him now. Well, what's the matter, Sidney? Well, I just forgot to ask you about the other night. The other night? What am I? What are you talking about? Well, the banquet the other night. She was here this morning. Sidney, the banquet was here? No, no, Ida Goldfarb's niece, the one Pa promised he'd get a job for. 